Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another vlog. I'm starting this vlog very quick because we're just actually went on late we're going out for tea with jake's sister and her husband and um, if you've not watched my vlogs before jake is my fiance and i'm Paige. welcome to my channel why are you laughing he's laughing at me um, and we're actually going to the bingo tonight it's bank holiday i just came straight from work so i literally got home and sprayed some perfume so i'm very like <sighs> rushed but yeah we're gonna be late when you go and get the table so food and bingo how fun so we <laughs> So we just had the quickest tea. I got calzone. It was so good. Or calz? Do you say calzone? So it's actually calzone. Um, just had food, and then we're now going to play bingo. So we've all agreed. If we win big, then we're going to go on holiday. <laughs> Did you agree on that one? <laughs> um, but yeah, after the bingo, hopefully we will win some dingo dollars. I think it's too good. Sorry. Oh, no, <laughs> Come on, bingo callers. The bingo. So that's bingo done. I was actually close twice with like one number each time, but I didn't win. Um, I think I was the closest on our table to getting a little winner, but it didn't happen. Um, it was only five pounds to like go in and play, so we didn't lose much, but. Yeah, it was good. We had some chocolate cake and a little wine. It's been really nice. Good little Sunday night activity. Bank holiday bonanza, as it's called. Morning everyone, welcome back to my weekly vlog. Last night I kind of rushed the vlog to start because I was like, I thought, oh, I'll pick it up because we went out for tea and we went to bingo. It was actually such a fun night. I think I did say that, but honestly, we had such a laugh. It was just something a little bit different. Um, Jake's been wanting to go to the bingo for so long. I mean, I don't know whether he wants to go back because he was gutted we didn't win or didn't win anything, but actually it was just such a nice night and like a change. Um, but it's Monday now, it's actually bank holiday and it's felt very bank holiday vibes for me already because I've just got up this morning and um, watched the Kardashians. I've just been sort of tidy in the garage. Um, just like housewife life. So not even that like much cleaning, just like tidying. Um, and it's only, switch my watch, it's only 10 past 12, so I've been very productive. I just got ready and I'm in quite like casual dress because I just didn't want to get like, I don't know, too dressed up. But basically I'm just heading out to like a retail park near where we live. I'm going to nip to get some bits because I'm going to make a banana bread this afternoon. Throw back to lockdown times because I've got some bananas that are just not going to get eaten and I don't want to waste them and I've got everything and I just need to grab some I've got butter, but I want to get unsalted butter, I think, I need. So I'm going to grab some of that when I'm out. I'm going to have a little look, because there's a couple of shops. I mean, not many. I really need some new work clothes, which is just like black, plain clothes. So I really need to get something for work. Um, but yeah, I've had a really productive morning. I feel really good, but actually also really chilled. I didn't really fully pay that much attention to the Kardashians, because I was like, looking on line at stuff. Um, and also, I want to mention... I'm not going to mention the brand just yet in case I don't know whether they work, but actually looking on my camera. And um, basically, I got sent some teeth whitening strips and I've only used them twice. And I do feel like my teeth look whiter. I'm going to mention them if I notice a difference in like a week or so, because I'm going to use them every like other day and just see how they go. But actually, there's no sensitivity, which I get really sensitive teeth off whitening. That's why I'm not sure whether they're definitely working, because I'm like, hmm, would they not be sensitive? But yeah, I really like them, but I'm going to mention them at the end of this vlog if I think they've worked and I think they're good. I've only left them on for like 15 minutes both times, but so far, so good. And I don't know why, but this morning I woke up really excited for like wedding stuff. Um, I don't know why, nothing else has been organised, but I just keep thinking like how exciting this time next year is going to be. La di da, la di da, all of that jazz. But yeah, I'm going to head out to the retail park. I'll take you along. If I buy anything, I'll let you know what I get. I'll take you in some of the shops. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I've got another jar and I was going to fill it up with either different biscuits or different candy for my bench. So I need to have a little look. See if I can get some bits. But yeah, let's go. And then I'm going to come back, make banana bread. I'm just going to have a really, really chilled, homey day because... I don't have any plans. Um, 
I actually thought I was off Tuesday and not today, so it's been a little surprise I was off today, which I'm glad about. And um, I found out that yesterday, which was just like, ooh. And there was something else I wanted to say. Can't remember what it was. Still on the water hype. But yeah, let's go. Let's go to the Arneson Centre, that's what it's called, and see what I can pick up. I know what it was that I wanted to mention, it was just really quick, but basically over the weekend, one of my friends from work, her little girls watch my vlogs, and honestly, they are the cutest little girls. Basically, they came into work to see me on Saturday, and they brought me some chocolates. Honestly, I can't even explain. So if you're watching Elle and Mila, thank you so much for watching, and oh, they're just honestly gorgeous. They made my entire weekend, um, they were just super cute. And it's funny because I really have noticed in the last few weeks the difference in people slash age groups like that watch these videos. So if you watch and you enjoy then remember please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe because it means everything. Even if you just like the video you don't have to comment because sometimes I don't know what to comment on people's um, Instagram or like YouTube and stuff. So just like the video and if you're not subscribed please subscribe it means a lot. But yeah, that was just so cute over the weekend and I thought I'd mention it in the video because I think if they're watching this one, they kind of seem to be watching all my older ones, but when it comes to this one, they'll catch up and see that I've mentioned it and hopefully it makes their day because they're just the sweetest little girls. But anyway, let's go drive to the Arnie. I could really do with my car cleaned in and out, but I don't really know where it does inside. I don't know. Let's see. I could stop being lazy and just do it myself, but oh, I need petrol. Am I going to make it? Yes. So I'm just back from the retail park and I thought I'd show you what I picked up. I went in New Look and I got some work shoes which was successful and then I went to Sainsbury's and that was like times 10 successful. Um, basically I went down there like beauty aisle just to have a look really because I was actually getting one of these which someone told me might bring my smell and taste back. I don't know whether it will, it, they said it brought theirs back so I'm going to give that a go. It's one of those Olbus oil Olbus inhaler things like very minty so that might clear my airways. I don't know, it probably won't but I'm actually going to try everything now because it's doing my head in that I can't taste or smell. So if you have any remedies let me know. But when I was in that aisle I basically seen they had the mini skin foods by Walida and then I seen that I actually had the big ones which I needed a new one so it's basically the moisturizer I use every day it's the Walida skin food it's so nice it's described as the rich intensive skincare for a very dry and rough skin I don't really think I'm that dry but it works so nice and it's the most gorgeous base for makeup and that was like £13.50 I think let me check. Yeah, 1350, which I did check, and it's the same on like Look Fantastic and everywhere. So actually, I could get it today and it was exactly the same price. Then I seen they had all the CeraVe products, and this was meant to be £15 for the foam and cleanser, which I also use. Um, and it was actually £12, so that was like a good saving on that. I had lifted up. That was a really good saving, so I got a cleanser. And I also picked up my favourite eye makeup remover, the Nivea. It's like a real oil based one. It's fab for getting like eye makeup off, like really thick liner. It comes off like with no um, troubles. And that was £2 instead of £3.50. All the bargains. And then the best bargain of the day, which I'm actually not going to lie, I'm thrilled about and kind of kicking myself for not getting more, is my favourite concealer, the Lasten Perfection Concealer by Collection, was £2.25 instead of £4.50. So I got two of them 
because I was like, that is so cheap. 225, like that's the one I use like every day. I literally love it. So I got two of them. Um thrilled about them. So I got some good little bargains of the day and things I actually needed. Like I didn't need the concealers, but I couldn't miss that option for the um that little bargain. Um, but I needed the eye makeup remover, needed the cleanser, needed the moisturizer. So I'm very happy about that. And I took my little Marxies bag to put everything in. Um, but I'm now just gonna have some cereal. It's like this like granola thing. I'm gonna have some of that. And then I'm gonna make a banana bread because we're going around my parents tonight. I'm gonna make one of them because we've got the bananas, like I was saying. And me and my dad potentially might be going on a little bike ride if he can be bothered. But I'm gonna put this up my nose now and hope that a miracle happens. I don't know whether this is gonna bring it back, I'm not gonna lie, but let's try it because I'm gonna try everything. So goodbye. this with my hood up well baking it because my hair is getting right in my way i got out of chocolate i've been having cookies as well i look crazy the batter mix thing never look well, it's not even batter but the mix never looks nice for this but oh my god it tastes great let's put it in the oven so the banana bread's in the oven. I'm now gonna chill with a green tea and watch the sun and sunset while it cooks. I literally put my hood up and I look, must look crazy doing that because I was trying to um, keep all my hair away from my face. I didn't have a bobble and I was being so lazy and didn't go upstairs and get one. So yeah, just gonna sit and watch the sunset while that cooks up. It looks very good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm just in the car, avec banana bread and champagne and water <laughs> um i'm about to go over my parents house i think i'm gonna go for a little bike ride of some sort i really want to take bring the bike to the like to our house like it's actually my mum like my dad's bike but i want to bring one of them from the house over just so i can like do bike rides after work and like on my days off and stuff just even like half an hour bike ride burns calories and i just I'm gonna try every avenue of fitness because I can't get into the gym. I just really can't, I don't know why. Um, so I thought if I do some bike rides, which I was loving during lockdown, maybe that'll work. So I've got my trainers on, I've got the banana loaf, I've got a half bottle of champagne that I opened last weekend and thought, you know, maybe we should um, drink it tonight so it doesn't get wasted. So just have like, I'll have one glass, my mum will have a glass and our friend's there, so she might have a glass. Um, I've had a lovely afternoon, just been watching Sun and Sunset, made the banana bread, lovely bank holiday. I'm back at work tomorrow, then I'm off for two days, which is so nice. So yeah, I'm just, lots of sorting out. But yeah, let's go. Going on a little half hour bike ride. I'm not taking the vlog before you ask, but I'll leave it. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> Got a podcast on, off I go. Got my cameraman. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I'll see you in half an hour. bike ride done how <laughs> i'm sweating a little slug fell on my eye as well when i was going but yeah sweaty baby i'm in the kitchen little champs poured by yours truly you're a mom who did julia she doesn't talk to you things she was so low that's good mom thanks so you're tiny bit left, Kate. Do you want that last no, try? You have it, Mum. Yeah. 
Well, I will when I finish. Cheers. Cheers, Dom. Morning everyone, welcome back to my weekly vlog. It's Wednesday, it's the middle of the week and I'm actually off to a place called Beamish Museum today which I'm going to film a main, like a, a full video on it so I'm not going to really be vlogging for today. I'll probably pick up the camera and insert some clips in here but it's not going to be like a daily, it's going to be more like a full video on like come to Beamish Museum with me which will be up before you watch this video so make sure to check that out. Um, the weather is really weird. It's like sunny, but it looks really dark. So it's apparently gonna rain as well. So I've got like a jumper on, cause I don't wanna be cold, cause it's like all outside. So I don't wanna be cold. Um, so I just let you put like a little jumper on, a leather jacket, just so I don't get freezing. Um, but I'm super excited just for, it's a little bit different. I'm going with my friend Jenny and her little girl. Um, so we're gonna get like a walk in because it's kind of got like, there's like a huge walk around it. Um, and yeah, just gonna head out there now. It's like, I think it's quarter past 10. Yes, quarter past 10. I'm gonna make a quick coffee, have that, and then I'm getting picked up by Jenny. And um, I'm really looking forward to it because the sweet shop there is like unreal. And um, so I'm gonna get loads of, well, not loads of sweets, but I'm gonna get some sweets. They make their own like cinder toffee, which is just amazing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go there for the day. I will obviously take you for some bits, but I am making a full video on it, which you can check out. So yes, excited to do that. A little bit different, a little bit of a different day out apart, like instead of going to like shopping. So I'm looking forward to that. And then me and my friend are just texting now about arranging a shopping day for next week. We're gonna maybe drive down to like Leeds or Manchester and go shopping for the day, which is gonna be lovely. That's with my friend Emmy. So that'll be in next week's vlog if we end up doing that. But for now I'm gonna make a coffee. And also I've got in the back of my mind that I really wanna go for another bike ride tonight because I felt so good for it the other day and I'm not into the gym. I I joined for three months. I've paid, this is my last month. I think I've paid for yesterday. I paid it off, and um, I'm just not into it, and I can't get into it. Even though I know that I've got my friend's wedding coming up in Cyprus, and I want to feel good for that, and I've got obviously my dress fitting, like first dress fitting in June, and I've got the wedding next year. I know that I need to be good, but I just can't get in the rhythm, and it's actually making me so annoyed. But I love the bike ride, so I thought even if I did a few of them a week, that's better than doing nothing. So. Yeah, maybe let's just stick to the bike rides. It's not even it's not even about looking different, it's just about like feeling fit. Oh and feeling better in myself. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try and get a bike ride in. Hopefully my dad will come with me today because I wanted him to come the other day, but he really wasn't up for it. He had some work, so hopefully he'll come tonight. If not, I'll just go on my own. If it's raining, I don't know what I'll do. I might have to go to the gym. Sorry, I'm trying to get the lid off. I did say to myself though that even if I just go to the gym a few more times this month just to get my money's worth out of it because it's so expensive and I mean I've totally wasted the money but hey ho, <sighs> whatevs. Um, but I could go a few more times this month just to get the most out of it. If I can't get a bike ride in a day, I'll definitely go and do something at the gym because I need to I want to sweat. I felt brilliant after doing the bike rides. That's how I want to feel. But yeah, I'm just making my coffee. So I'm going to put the vlog down so I can concentrate because I need to also go to the loo in case I need a wee because I don't want to need the loo. So anyway, I'll catch up with you at the next clip and you'll see Beamish Museum a little bit of it. Peace. Peace. <laughs> 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 Little thrill seeker. Woo! <laughs> 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 on the shores. <laughs> this is the first time I've been on these. <laughs> Is that right? No. You're doing really well. Yeah. You've got to keep 
keep it lower. Lower. So that if you're there, you're pushing it that way. Ah, so if you're there, you've got to Okay. So once you get it going, Don't keep stop. it low. It's contrary to what you expect. Keep it low. That's it, that's it, that's it. Yes. Stop when you hit the wall. I was. Oh, oh, I'm not very good. Right. We're eating our fish and chips now in a cone. So I'm home now from Beamish Museum. It was such a nice day, I honestly loved it. I was just ending my video um, in this room and it was so nostalgic to be at Beamish Museum because I went there so much as a child um, and it was amazing. Had the nicest day, I got some sweets, brought them home. I brought Jake a sausage roll back from the bakery, which I'd never been in. Um, and it was just like a really nice day, but we bought a pass. Well, I, we both, Jenny, my friend, bought a pass for her and her husband, and then I got a pass for me, um, just in case, like, I want to go over summer, and I think me and Jenny will go again and just go for a walk, because now once you've paid in, it's kind of like you don't then pay again, so it's really worth just meeting up and going for a walk, maybe going to the sweet shop, getting ice cream. Um, so it's been so nice, and I think I'm now going to head over to my parents' house and go on a bike ride, like I said I wanted to do. Um... I thought I would have got more steps in today, but I looked and I'd only done about 5,000, so I want to do more. Um, I just quickly topped up my lipstick to um, end the vlog, sorry, end the video, but all my eyes have, like, leaked. I didn't put eye base on today, so all my eyes are, like, watered and they just have came off, but hey-ho. I'm going to take my lashes off for my bike ride because I think that's a bit glam for a bike ride. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. I feel, like, excited about it. I know that's crazy, but it's actually just because I can put a podcast on and just really get in the zone of, like, bike ride, even if it's just half an hour, whatever. I'm just going to see if my mum wants to come or my dad. I don't think they will, but we'll see. Um, and then I'm off again tomorrow, so it's a lovely feeling knowing you're off work again the next day. And I feel very successful because, obviously, I filmed a video today as well as a day out. Like, I've had a day out and filmed a video. It's something a bit different. Um, I don't know whether people will watch it. I don't really know, but it was a bit different, and it was like fun to film um and we've had the cutest day with jenny's little girl nina she's just honestly the happiest little thing ever she's like so cute and jenny's like so good she like lets me like help and like give her loads of cuddles and she's just the got us so nice and jenny is just so chilled um i was watching back some clips and we've been on the fairground at beamish museum and it was actually so good the little um shuggy boats but i'd been on them when i was little and it just it's very nostalgic but i'm gonna get so i don't know whether to keep these clothes on because i'm nice and warm i don't want to be cold on the bike and it keeps raining it's the weirdest weirdest weather um so i don't know maybe gonna get changed and head over to my parents for a bike ride i might even take the vlog probably not the best idea because i don't know where to keep it i had to keep my phone in my bra the other day so it's probably not best best if i don't take the vlog um but yeah it's only four o'clock so we've got the full rest of the evening which feels good um and yeah i'm seeing my friend tomorrow um we're gonna go for a walk so i'll take you for that and pick up the vlog whatever i end up doing tonight after the bike ride maybe if not tomorrow so yeah fun day so far <gasps> cycle done Whew. i'm so sweaty it's disgusting all my mascaras ran <laughs> had like two jumpers on it was I had like two jumpers on, it was so hot. Um but I'm really glad for doing it. I did like um let's have a look. I did 42 minutes, 10.7 no, 10.27 km. So that in miles is 10.27 am in miles 6.381 miles so i'm very proud of myself now i'm gonna go home and watch sal and sunset and relax ignore my hair
morning everyone happy friday and welcome back to my weekly vlog i literally didn't pick the vlog up yesterday because i was busy all day and then went out for a walk with my friend and when i say busy i was doing like nails so honestly i had just a really busy day and then walked my, with my friend had more nails and then just had an amazing chill night just watched loads of telly like loads of youtube it was really lovely and just totally relaxed so today's friday i'm back at work and um, i actually couldn't get up this morning i really 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 struggled and um, kind of running late as well for work i start at nine it's quarter past eight and the traffic could be bad but it's my granddad's birthday today and we're all heading out for some food tonight so i'm gonna take you along for that um and yeah it's the weekend i'm working friday saturday off sunday so we're gonna have a nice little couple of well i'll say a nice couple of days got work for a few days and then i'm off again so yeah that's the plan and um, but i did just wanted to say i didn't obviously film yesterday because i didn't really get up too much apart from busy busy so yeah i'll take you along for our food tonight i need to actually call him now and say happy birthday so yeah bye i'm just driving to meet my family at place where I went actually for my dad's birthday so I have been before in the vlogs um go past these lights then at the next set turn left and I've got my sat nav on because I get lost sometimes these with this way I've came so I put my sat nav on um but I've had such a busy day at work <sighs> I was just ready uh finished to be honest so i'm glad i'm done and i'm gonna have the same starter as i got last time that popcorn chicken it was unreal and i've thought about it ever since i'm gonna get that and i don't know what i have for me but obviously i'll show you what i get um and i just got my granddad a little all saints t-shirt he's very trendy um so he'll love that um oh god sorry i'm just getting stuck at some lights um yeah he will literally love that so much so i got him like a summery color and i've got his card here so i'm gonna give him that and yeah i'm gonna have a nice night with my family um and then i'm at work again tomorrow so saturday plans are non-existent at the lights turn left onto burden plane i actually know where i'm at now i should stop that sat nav um just a little lefty lefty yeah i feel really pale my neck is super pale i don't want to add any tan i feel like i'm not loving my fake tan at the moment i've got the molly may one and i just don't really like the way it comes off it leaves you really scaly um so i need to find a new fake tan so if anyone's got a one that would recommend let us know i use just the um dove like gradual one like the moisturizer because that doesn't come off in your sheets it's really nice it's just not that dark and i have got the medium or dark one so yeah anyway let's get to see the family i think i'm gonna be bang on time it was booked for half six and it's 28 minutes past and i'm like two minutes away so that's perfect oh i'm getting stuck behind a bike list and a bus so maybe maybe i'm not gonna be on time but yeah i'm excited to see everyone It came different last year. Birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Freddie. Happy birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my weekly vlog. Before I end the video, I just wanted to show a little delivery I got from Primer Lashes. I ordered some lashes the other day, just like in bulk. Um, because if you spend like so much you can put a code in and get like 60% off which I always do I'll leave the details down below in case you want to copy and do that because I think if you spend £100 you can put a code in which is lash 60 and get 60% off so you get like £100 worth of lashes for 40 ish pounds anyway i just wanted to show come a couple of the styles i ordered like for myself because people always ask which lashes i have on and they're always primer and i love them um, so these are ones called Ritzy. I love them. Then I got some called Sunkissed, which are a little bit more like everyday but nice and fluffy. Then I got some called Lucky, which I have had before, and they are like real fluffy. Can you see? So nice. And then I got more pairs. I did get more pairs, but they're... Um, for like freelance but then i got one more pair called vibes 
yeah these are called vibes and they're so nice as well they're like it'll be lovely but I basically wear lashes all the time some like some of them are more dramatic but I just thought they were like four pairs out of the like all of the pairs I ordered which I thought I'd show you because I use a lot of them for freelance and stuff um, and other people's makeup but I just thought I'd show you them because everyone always says what lashes do you have on like these are primer and they're just so nice um but yeah I just thought I'd mention them because I love them and everyone always asks what lashes I wear but I am going to leave this vlog here and um, it's Saturday and me and Jake are about to go out for some food so I'll vlog that in the next week vlog Lex weekly vlog and that's it for this week I really hope you've enjoyed please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and of course I will see you in my next video